So how do you volunteer to get laid off? Someone brought up this question in a recent blind post as I was reading the forums yesterday and it got me thinking, why would you want to get laid off? But uh, after reading the post, I kind of understood where this person was coming from and it kind of makes a little bit of sense, but let's just jump into the post and take a look. So the title of this says, how to volunteer to be laid off. This may sound insensitive, but I really want to be laid off. I don't like the manager. There's no growth opportunities. I'm searching for another job, but wish to be laid off so that I have a few months of salary and some time off. Has anyone done this before? And his total comp is 270K after the crash. And looking above here, it says that he is working at Amazon in product management. All right, another fellow PM at Amazon. All right, so it, it makes sense, right? If you hate your job, you don't see any growth potential and you're just not feeling it, right? And you're not getting the support that you need. You're not, you're not successful. You're not enjoying the work that you do. Of course, you're like, you know, let's just, let's just leave. What's the point of sticking around? And of course, you would prefer to get laid off rather than get fired because in most cases, if you get fired, you don't get a severance uh, or you might get very little severance versus getting laid off where you get X amount of dollars for every year that you've worked. You might also get a balloon payment, severance payment, and then of course, some extended benefits in some cases, uh, depending on the company and so on. I'm not exactly sure how Amazon is doing it right now. I know there's a couple of Slack channels that are pretty active right now where people are talking about all this stuff, but it's neither here nor there. But yeah, it, it makes sense. Um, I've never done this before. I've never explicitly asked my manager, hey, could you guys lay me off? Uh, I actually got laid off back in, I think, 2008, 2009 when I started working at HP. And of course, the whole Wall Street collapse happened. And, you know, Hewlett Packard, along with a bunch of other companies, were impacted. And I was part of that first initial wave of new employees, actually, that were making peanuts compared to middle managers and the leadership uh, that were unfortunately let go. And that was just not my choice. And of course, I didn't want it to happen. But I think it was actually good uh, in retrospect that I went through that early on just to understand the process and to just be reminded that there's no sort of guarantee when you sign uh, a job offer. Usually those things are at will, so you can get let go any single time. Uh, but in this OP's case, looks like he wants to go, he wants to get laid off, he wants to get canned, but not fired, uh, so he can get a little bit of extra time to look for his next role. Okay, totally makes sense. I think there's two ways to go about this. One is the passive way, and then the other is the assertive way. Let's talk about the passive way first. You can pretty much pull back on your job duties and responsibilities. You can stop joining meetings. You can sort of uh, stop doing your work or just do the bare minimum where you might get uh, needs improvement. And then of course, when and if that next layoff round comes, you might be considered because oftentimes when they do layoffs, they also look at sort of the bottom performers or those who needs improvement and they are usually the first to go. Uh, sometimes they do it a little bit differently. Sometimes it's based on the team itself and if your team isn't doing well, you're not generating revenue, you're not, you're not a strategic driver for the company, then your team will also probably get impacted. So you have to consider those options as well. But the passive way to do this is just do the bare minimum where you're not getting fired, but you're also probably not gonna survive very long. That's the passive way. The other way is the assertive way, and there's a couple options here. Number one, you can explicitly tell your manager or HR, your HRBP, your skip level, uh, that you're not happy, that you're thinking about something else, and hey, can you guys volunteer me when the next layoff round comes? And that could go, of, of course, two ways. They might, you know, best case scenario, honor your request and bat you in in that next round, or it could potentially backfire, especially if they don't have a good relationship with you. If, if you're not on good terms with your team and they think that you're trying to gain the system or gain some sort of an advantage, that could backfire and they could put you on sort of, sort of a pit plan and then put you on your way to exiting the company without any severance package. So consider those two options. Consider the relationship that you have with your team, your manager, uh, and whether that's a good option. The other way to kind of approach this is rather than explicitly telling them that you want to get laid off or that you want to be part of that next round, you could also position it as, hey, it's not something job related, but you have some family things that you want to take care of. You want to travel a little bit where it's definitely not personal and you're not trying to make any claims that your job or your team isn't isn't doing right by you and that you're open to something else and that you want to explore other options. And so it's sort of this assertive passive way of saying, hey, not necessarily that you want to be laid off, but you're thinking about other options. And so you're kind of leaving that door open where you want them to get to think that, hey, you know, this guy's not very committed. You know, let's let's just do him a favor and push him out and, and nudge him out a little bit and see if that works, right? I would probably consider that option if I was in your shoes rather than being explicit and taking that chance that, hey, it could potentially backfire. Just sort of start leaving little clues, little, little breadcrumbs. 
that you've got other priorities and that this job might not be the one that's right for you while still doing just enough where you don't get fired. Those of you guys out there who are watching this video, if you've gone something similar or if you've successfully negotiated a layoff, we'd love to hear your story. Right now, as everyone knows, it's a tough job market and there's just not a whole lot of opportunities and it's super competitive. So hopefully you've got your savings or hopefully you have a backup plan and you have something else on the side that you can do. But you know, best of luck to you. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think. Uh, leave some advice for this OP that, that can help them out uh, and also other people who are out there who are probably going through a similar situation. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.